Yo, what is up, YouTube? Be Small Cowboy here today with another video. And today we are going to be talking about something quite hated, I say, in the YouTube like community thing. It's sub for sub. Uh, most of the bigger YouTubers say sub for sub is bad for your channel. But, when I was, when I... Some of you guys might have seen that I grew a lot in subscribers, like from like 60 to 140. And what I think about Sub for Sub is that is that you need something to get you noticed, like most. The only thing that sucks about sub for sub is your subscribers to your views ratio. Like, if you have, let's say, 1,000 subscribers from sub for sub, but you only get 20, 25 views on a video, it's really not helping. But it's like there's two sides of the thing here. Some people are more like you have to dig deep and get them, get subscribers. But I just think you can have, you can get subs to get you noticed a little more, to put you up more on the search bar. That's what I think. And I don't think you should sub for sub when you're at 2,000 or above because you're noticed. You should be able to get more subscribers from just making videos, good quality videos, and then the subscribers would come in. Um, this topic is kind of talked about talked about much on YouTube, but I think it's a good way for smaller YouTubers, like 30 subscribers, to at least get up there into the triple digits. And I know most of you got some of you guys aren't gonna agree with me, but that's what just what I think. And yeah. So uh tell me what you think down in the comment section below about sub for sub and why you should do it and why you shouldn't do it. But yeah, um I guess like this video, subscribe, and Beast Mo Cowboy is out. See y'all later.